Hi everyone. Today's record review is all about the Queen, Miss Mariah. I care, carry. <laughs> it took me almost a year to complete her discography. With the help of my family and friends, I was able to hunt her official releases and limited edition vinyl. Without further ado, here are her studio collection in chronological order with remarks of my top three tracks I personally love. First up, her debut album, Mariah Carey. Released by Columbia on June 12, 1990, this is a Walmart exclusive glass bottled green with 11 legendary tracks, including my top three picks, Someday, I Don't Wanna Cry, and Love Takes Time. Next is her sophomore album, Emotions, a certified four times platinum. Released in September 13 of 91, I won this record from an eBay auction in a classic pink. It has 10 tracks including my top three, Emotions, Can't Let Go, and Make It Happen. Before we go to the next studio album, let us acknowledge first the most famous extended live album she performed with MTV, Mariah's MTV Unplug. I have this Target exclusive reissued copy in red marble. Delicious. On to our third record, the release of Music Box. Released in August 31st, 1993, I hold a copy from a Vinyl Me Please company in a cream 180 gram vinyl. This standard release includes 10 tracks, and my top three are Dream Lover, Anytime You Need a Friend, and her cover of Bad Fingers Without You. Before we go on to her fourth project, let us acknowledge first the 30th anniversary edition of Music Box. This is one of the box that I love and it comes in a 4LP standard black. With this release, you will be able to listen to few of her bonus tracks and cool remixes, songs from her vaults. This is a special edition. It comes with beautiful inset photos of her and a life-size poster, a Lambly must have. The fourth album is all about the spirit of Christmas, Mariah's Merry Christmas album. Released in October 28, 1994, this is a limited edition reissue vinyl that comes in a clear with white, red, and green splatter. My favorites includes All I Want for Christmas, Oh Holy Night, and Miss You Most. On September 26, 1995, Mariah released Daydream, her fifth studio album. From the VMP shop, I bought this club edition in gold metallic. You can see that the cover is embossed with her name and the album title. This album was her subtle transition to contemporary R&B and boy, she didn't disappoint. My top three are Underneath the Stars, Melt Away, and One Sweet Day with Boys to Men. The birth of her sixth album is considered Mariah's magnum opus. Released in September 10th, 1997, Butterfly was added to her discography with 12 tracks. This limited edition I owned is a remastered classic in gold clear ripple effect. My top three jam includes Breakdown with Crazy Bone, Whenever You Call, and The Roof. And then came the seventh studio album, Rainbow. This gem was released in November 2 of 99. I received this gem as a Christmas gift from my family. Normally, this reissue comes in four color variants and luckily I got the blue. I ordered the 25th anniversary vinyl which is set to arrive on October 18th and I can't wait for that. For this record, my top three are After Tonight, Thank God I Found You and her cover of Phil Collins Against All Odds. Ironically, on the tragic day of 9-11, Mariah released her most controversial album, Glitter, one of the hardest to find records in the vinyl community. For the record, this would be my most expensive vinyl in the room. I got lucky that my fiancé Mark and his BFF Jeff helped me earn this one. Released in standard black, my three faves are Lead the Way, All My Life, and Never Too Far. November 20th, 2002 was the release date of her ninth studio album, Charm Bracelet. This record came at the time when my personal life was in shambles. This limited edition reissue is made in white bone and comes with 15 tracks including my top 3 personal likes, Through the Rain, I Only Wanted, and her Def Leppard cover of Bringing on the Heartbreak. Then came the best comeback record of all time, The Emancipation of Mimi. Released on March 30, 2005, this record became the highest selling release in the US. This deluxe limited edition vinyl comes in a clear variant. Obviously, this is my all-time favorite record as I memorized most of the songs from this project. 
My top three are Mine Again, We Belong Together, and the unforgettable bonus track, Don't Forget About Us. We are down to her 11th studio album, E equals MC Squared. This album was supposed to be the part two of the Emancipation album. However, it became independent as it dives to reggae and gospel influenced tracks. This copy is a limited edition reissue and it comes in a beautiful purple variant with an inset poster inside. My fave three includes For the Record, Touch My Body, and I Wish You Well. September 22, 2009, Mariah released her 12th studio album, The Memoirs of an Imperfect Angel. This was her personal album dedicated to the Lamleys. She also made great collabs with Nicki Minaj, Neo, and Mary J. Blige. This two vinyl limited edition record comes in white, and my top three are Hate You, Ribbon, and of course her partner cover of I Wanna Know What Love Is. On November 2, 2010, The Christmas Queen released her 13th studio and second Christmas album entitled Merry Christmas to You. The holidays will never be the same without her songs echoing wherever place you may be. This vinyl copy is on a standard black and it comes with 13 Yuletide songs including my top three. Oh Santa, Christmas Time is in the Air again, and the New Year's Anthem, The Old Lang Sign. After giving birth to her twins, Me, I Am Mariah, the elusive Chantus, came on May 6, 2014, as her 14th studio album. The original title of the album could have been The Art of Letting Go, but was changed. This limited edition vinyl I got from Whatnot comes in orange, reissued in 2021. My top three picks includes Beautiful, Your Mind Eternal, and a cover of George Michael's One More Try. Mariah then released her 15th studio album, Caution. Released by Epic Records, almost 39 minute full of R&B and hip hop tracks. I got the gatefold in standard black, plus a fabulous poster insert inside. My top three for this record includes GTFO, With You, and Anono. And finally, let's talk quickly about her compilations album. Number one's Her Greatest Hits album was released on November 16th, 1998. First copy I got from Japan in clear variant and most recently in silver and black swirl ordered through Amazon. Number one to infinity is the sixth greatest hits album. Released on May 15th, 2015, I got the standard black 180 gram two packed vinyl. Look at those inserts and her photos on this record beautiful and finally the ray release box set her eighth compilation album released on october 2 2020 a collection of her unreleased songs b-sides demos and live performances in tokyo dome so many beautiful track in this record including her cover of irene Cara's out here on my own and check out her picture library on this inserts and to give you a tea of how I adore Mimi, I duplicated most of MC's vinyl in standard black. I got the singles, I got her memoir, her 7-inch singles, complete CD library, cassette tapes, and even all the movies she was in. <laughs> I know. Follow my journey as I finally get to see her live this Saturday at the Park MGM Hotel in Vegas. Peace out.